Hello everyone. Today we'll be developing a hospital management system using Bootstrap PHP MySQL. Okay. So this is the index dot php will be having a html page so here i will first place the cdn of bootstrap so i'll go to download and here will be the cdn version i can just copy this to and place it here now i'll just cut this script and place it at the bottom so it doesn't take time to load now we will be also requiring jquery so google jquery cdn and here is the jquery link here i copy it and i save this now i will be having the login page at first we will be having a login page okay before that we will be creating a database and let's name this database hmsdb hospital management system database is created okay and now for login we'll be having username and password so this will be log in tb login table number of columns will be having only two and go we'll be having username will be giving this where care and let's say 40 and password this also where care and this also 40 so we have our username and password now let's insert a value let's say admin and this let's say pass okay so we have our first input now i'll be having a card right oh uh, sorry form uh, let's just go here and let's go to this components and here in the components we'll be having forms okay so basically here is form you can copy this but i'll just do it first we'll be having div a div and class container fluid and within this we'll be having our form <coughs> this will be class form group okay here we'll be having a label this will be username and here will be the <coughs> input username and this will be placeholder username enter username and beer now we'll be copying this okay one minute we need to give the class form 
control okay basically this will give the style for this bootstrap okay so now i'll just replicate this i'll be having two here this will be the password this will be password oh, yeah and this will be password enter password and let's say we'll be having a our action will be post oh action will be at let's say func dot php and method will be post okay so now let's create our func basically func dot php will use for all the functions okay so func dot php here it is okay so this is the php and we can just give php yeah okay but before that we'll just see the front end but we can give here <coughs> first let's see this uh, here it is oh we need to open it from here so local host slash uh, hms which i have named the folder and then here it is index.php so let's see what has happened okay so you can see bootstrap will be working see it's responsive right but we want it at the center and let's say container will give we won't be giving this container we will be giving container and let's see okay now let's change this width actually with uh, style with let's say 400 pixel okay and now let's see yeah now within this let's say we can give a card type okay where well, there will be a shadow kind of thing so let's see here is card and here it is so this is card card body card title okay so here Div class card and here we close this and within this we'll have div class card body okay and we can see here card body yeah you can see we have got this border okay now we want it at the center right so let's say center let's see if this works yeah now let's see Oh, no, 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 not that, not, no, no, I need to give padding, uh, no center, okay, I need to give a, let's say, to the container, let's give a margin, let's say, hun, margin top, yeah let's say we'll give 300 pixels now let's see 
oh it's too below so let's give 100 pixel okay <coughs> yeah. okay we need to give a button now I'll change this to probably 150 now let's see yeah now I'll be giving here a button so input type <laughs> submit name let's say login submit yeah and class btn btn let's say primary that will give a blue color see okay and now you see when I hover over this the mouse pointer does not change so let us change that here style and here let us say let us give here a id id uh, or let us use here only let us just cancel this and just give here style style here let us give this we need to give a id id let's say ab1 okay just a id and let's use here only this tile and let's see ab1 and then hover cursor and we'll give it pointer okay so now what will happen is now just see the cursor changes okay so now let's give a image here it will look a little bit better so for hospital let's say let's go uh, hospital images let's see and uh, Let's say this one. Let's save this in here. Let's create a folder named images here where we'll be storing all our image images. And here <coughs> let's save this as one. Okay, just one and now this is card image top okay so card body image classes card image top this is right now let's check it yeah so now source and source is images slash one dot jpg and now uh, here it is see let's reduce this padding to 100 now since we have the image and see this is our login right but still we need to give a let's say background image okay so let's just give a background image yeah this one yeah this one looks fine right so let's just let's give this two dot jpg and we'll be using is this as background so body style background and not color only background url and here images slash <laughs> two dot jpg <coughs> and then uh, no repeat yeah and background 
को साइज कवर या नाउ लेट्स सी One minute. Let's see what happened. Images hmm, style background URL something. Let's just delete this for once. What happened? One minute. Let's see this one. And now, the ground size cover, and this one no. Yeah. And now let's see. See, <coughs> we have this. And let's see if I can change the opacity, background opacity, uh, back, background, no, opacity, let's see, 0 0.5, let's see what happens with this now okay leave it for now let's not change the opacity and okay this will do okay it looks fine now <coughs> we need to let this function right so let's create our panel okay admin panel so we'll be having our admin panel so save as admin panel dot php so this is our admin panel and <coughs> we'll be working soon on the admin panel first now just copy this head part oh sorry just copy and just paste this and so that we at least know what's going on oh. now <coughs> let's say we'll be just to make sure this works hello just to show that this will be working okay now con equals my sqli connect and here we'll be giving local host then we'll be having <coughs> root this will be blank and this will be hmsdb okay so this is our connection now what we'll be doing is this is going to func dot php so here here we are now <coughs> our query equals select star from uh, login tb okay where one minute now 
username equals okay first if is set post uh, and here what did I give that submit login submit login submit so log uh, login submit basically this will say is if this form is submitted only then this will work now we will be having our variable so user name equals post and we will be having our username and password equals post password now if select from login tv where the username this username actually uh, here this username username equals this username and password equals password <coughs> now if oh now we'll be having result result equals my SQLI query here we'll be having con and <coughs> query if result if result means if okay so this is login so my sqli num um, one minute uh, academy in funk I think academy yeah. let's just check my one rules. Mm, I'm just seeing my uh, this my school line number num of rows okay num rows once more I need to check this uh, oh boy my school I num rows yeah so let's just say my school I num rows result greater than sorry equal to because if there is a row which matches this then basically this means that if the form input matches this then there will be a row in the database then will be logging in so we'll go header will be giving the location admin panel dot php okay or else will be 
location we'll just go back to this page only so <coughs> index.php so now let's just see uh, let's see we have given admin pass and let's see submit see it logged in but if you give something else let's say gibberish gibberish and now see again it reloaded to this page right now if you want to sh give a message over here you can after this you can just <coughs> echo let's say script and you can give alert oh sorry about that enter correct details and now let's just say something and oh it's not working let's see uh, oh it's going to a new page right so echo we need to give this win window dot open and here <coughs> let's say I'm giving index dot php and let's just see gibberish gibberish enter correct details okay how uh, oh sorry index.php uh, yeah let's see once window.open index.php yeah mm. what happened every gibberish and then okay but what is happening let's place this up and now let's see uh, uh, let's say gibberish gibberish and now oh, let's just check with my code uh, uh, this one admin func okay here I'll be having this this one our oh, self this one I just forgot that so uh, and this one self okay now let's see oh no this net beans will open now uh -huh. um, no this net beans i clipped by mistake let's see this one what happened window dot open okay let's just copy this too and just forget this yeah let's give this index.php and self and 
error login <laughs> okay now let's see oh I need to give this earlier now uh, yeah now it will work one minute I'll just cancel this netlinks now here and here and error login and yeah so this is working okay and now if I give the admin and pass it will log in hello okay so let's did be just the first part and in the second part we'll be developing this admin panel so thanks for watching